Well, posts spreading misinformation continue to mount as midterm elections near. A new report from advocacy group the Inte Inte Integrity Institute tracks which platforms are amplifying the spread of misinformation the most. We well, Yahoo Finance's tech editor Dan Howley has the details. So, Dan, who made the list? Uh, yeah, so this is a, a list from a nonprofit basically looking at uh, what the kind of companies that we see as social media giants, uh, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, uh, relatively new still, are doing as far as uh, spreading misinformation, not themselves, but their platforms. And essentially what the result is, is that Twitter is on top. Uh, and the reason for that uh, is because of the fact that uh, the ability to share, retweet quickly uh, any kind of content that comes out is so easy. It's a click away, a tap away, uh, that it just allows this kind of information to spread. This, uh, again, through the Integrity Institute, basically saying that, you know, that is the number one vector for uh, misinformation to spread easily, easily, not necessarily uh, among social platforms. TikTok, also very easy uh, to spread. That's, That's because of its algorithm. And so, you know, just to give you a sense of uh, the type of misinformation or why misinformation spreads, uh, it's because it gets more of a reaction from people. This is what we've heard in the past. Uh, it gets more of a reaction. People get uh, angered by something that they see. Um, you know, the, the cat litter in the this classroom thing is one that's going on right now, obviously. And so people see that, they think it's uh, a wild idea. Uh, and so they'll start tweeting it or retweeting it or sharing it uh, along those lines. And so that's why Twitter is on there. TikTok, on the other hand, uh, because of that algorithm. Yeah, that's interesting. So I, I never thought about just the ease of resharing something on Twitter. Now, we're not going to get any reaction likely from TikTok. Is there any reaction from Twitter? And is there anything they can do or have been discussing doing here, Dan, that might change this? Yeah, I think it really just comes down to the, the different companies and their stance on uh, misinformation and disinformation. Uh, you know, uh, there was uh, in this report uh, a kind of reference to what Mark Zuckerberg had put out uh, where uh, misinformation, uh, the closer it gets to or, or the more uh, of a red line that companies put in the sand, the more uh, it'll start to kind of increase the spread of disinformation. So uh, when you kind of uh, see stuff that's getting wildly out of hand, uh, companies will put a red line there and stop allowing it to be spread. But you know, it's kind of a moving target at all times. So companies have a difficult time trying to figure out how they're going to set that up. And I think, you know, Facebook has talked about how they've worked on this, uh, though they have pulled back uh, as they're cutting spending. Twitter has talked about this, but Elon Musk doesn't want to have much moderation. And, you know, it's looking increasingly like he's going to buy it. But hey, you know, it's a day of the week that ends in Y. So that could change. Uh, and, you know, TikTok, as you said, we're probably not going to get much out of it, though they say they do try to uh, tamp down on misinformation, disinformation. So, you know, as long as social media is out there, as long as there's stuff that's easy to spread, as long as people are easy to anger, stuff that they see, we're still going to see misinformation, disinformation. I mean, it's tough. At 6,000 tweets per second, at, when you figure in retweets and everything else, it's like playing whack-a-mole trying to sort this out. Mm -hmm. A big thank you, Dan Howley, there for us.